Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, Pilot is sadly not here, so I get to do the oat harvest myself. And I haven't harvested oats in like a, a long time. I think it's been it's been a minute. So I can't remember if they dropped straw or not. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, we've also got to buy some things. I got all of that grass put up into the bunker is almost 200,000 liters and I sold the rest after just hours, literal hours of my life spent getting grass and I never want to do it again ever. Please, thanks. That would be great. What I am hoping though is where we expanded out this field, I would like to get a, l a little bit more than what we got the first time whenever we did soybeans. So we're going to be extra careful here and not run over anything and I am trying a new microphone setting so you guys will have to let me know how it is I noticed not in editing but in replaying one of the videos on YouTube that my microphone was peaking like badly a lot and nobody ever said anything so you guys are a plus there for keeping a guy in 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 the swing of things uh, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be doing today is working on fun microphone things and hopefully spending a little bit of this money. I think I still want the forage harvester. It's probably the best bet where we have the cows, but a big new tractor does sound pretty spiffy as well because I, I'm, I'm be real with you right now. The forage harvester would be great, but the pit's full. And our cows aren't going to need that much. So it might be better to look at tractors and a just a corn head for this and, and let's sell all that as corn. I think that's probably the more lucrative idea right now because we're going to need the, the head for the, the sunflowers too. I think that's probably what we're going to do. So we'll see what we end up with today. Now, I'm going to be completely truthful with you. There are some other things we need, too. We need a fertilizer spreader, a muck spreader, uh, because our cows do uh, leave some of the poo. So we would be good to have that. And we could buy a couple more cows as well. Uh, their gestation period on seasons is a lot longer than, than what I'm used to. So that's also an option. Like, there's just so many things that we technically need to do that I'm not sure which direction to go because I, I want to get into the big stuff. I want to get into doing things more quickly and you know we've got a lot more fields now than what we've got um, you know than grass so I think we might be past the need for giant pieces of grass equipment and we can move into just getting field equipment so a bigger tractor would be just a huge bonus for us. You know, horsepower-wise, we can get bigger tools. Uh, bigger tools means technically lower fuel usage because we're not going to be uh, spending so much time running the tractors. But I need to kind of figure out what size we need. Also, a bale trailer for these round bales would probably be pretty good too. I do have a couple auto load options available. So, might take a look at those. I'm not exactly sure which way I want to go yet. Because I will not be doing all the bales by hand. Again, I do them a lot for you guys in the first place. So, we're not going to be doing it all the time. I honestly think one of the first pieces of equipment we need to get out of everything is a way to cut down trees. Because I've been doing it by hand for so long. And it just sucks. D like, just deleting the little guys... And I did check about the signboard, and whenever I use the signboard, it deletes every tree. So we won't be doing that because, well, I, I don't like the idea of deleting every tree. I just, I want a quicker way to mow down the, the little ones. So that'll be something to keep in mind, too. I'm just kind of waiting to see what we make out of this field money-wise before I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. So, we'll see where we end up. Ooh, it's not looking good for the home team. This is the second time unloading, and we're only at 6,000 liters. I was hoping for a lot more out of this field, honestly. 
but we haven't really done much to it, so I'll take what I can get. I think my only consolation prize today is that the oats are selling for almost $1,300 uh, $1, per thousand. So it is what it is, I guess. And we'll see where we end up here. So last little bit of this field, and I hate to say it, but we only made like 11,000 liters out of this whole guy. So I'm going to very calmly and very quickly uh, go through go well we're gonna go sell this first that way we can get an idea of the money and then I'm going to use both our trailers and collect all the straw and get rid of the straw as well and we'll see where we end up with money I think I've got a decent handle on what all I want to do and get today oh I did forget to mention I built a Nice little path to our cow shed there. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, here goes. Well, basically nothing. We got 11,000 liters there. It does go up pretty quick, though. I'll give it that. 14 grand. Well, 15 grand right on it. So $86,000. How close does that bring me? That's getting into almost doable range. Let me get the rest of this straw picked up. And we'll see where we end up. Shouldn't take... It shouldn't take too awful long, I hope. I guess at this point, the bigger question is, do we make more money on the oats? Or the straw? That's going to be the interesting part, because we're, we're bringing in the straw right now. So we ended up with around 72,000 liters of straw out of that one little field. So that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good amount. That's, um... Jeez, how many bales would that be? 5,000 to 35 is... 7 bales? I mean, that's... It's not nothing, I guess. Or, no, we got 70,000 liters. What did I say? Oh, math is hard today. Alex is a big idiot. So that's... It's like 14 bales. I, I just, I don't know why I could not think of how to divide that up by five. But yeah, it's like 14 bells worth. So that's a decent amount. And it's only going for 100, 100 per thousand though. So not as good as it could be. Another seven grand in cash. Hmm. We're, we're in spicy numbers now. Those are, those are some good numbers, guys. All right, before I get to brash here let me go buy the two things I know I want three things three things I know I want and this is what I wanted a an old quad track like first generation quad track these things just scream me and I actually really really like it so she is chunky uh, 390 ish horsepower with a three point, and we're able to get the uh, log uh, tree thing. So, we're gonna go ahead and try that out as well. Uh, the, the big field that me and Pilot were in the other day has a few trees in it I need to get rid of. There's like just little trees all over the place I just need to, to get rid of. So, this is gonna be handy for that. The other thing's gonna be handy for. We won't be able to use it today. But getting into larger implements, because now we have the more horsepower, we can get into a larger silage trailer, which doesn't seem like it would be a, a massive upgrade. But when we're dealing with the amount of grass and silage that we are on this map, uh, anytime that I don't have to run two tractors or, or something like that, if, we, if even if we can get close to half the size, uh, whenever I pick up by myself here, the time I spend filling a trailer, unhooking from that trailer, hooking up to another one, and then in getting going again is, is kind of a pain. Now, we don't have that money today. I have one I want to get, but we're not there yet. So, I was wanting to get some tools, but we needed the header for the, the, the combine. So, We've got like a pretty big harvest day coming up tomorrow, so that wasn't going to quite work. 
but this will help clean out some of the stuff and you know we can use our smaller implements on this as well not not like the three meter one we can definitely put the four meter one on there and it this won't mind this won't mind at all i had the choice between this well not really it was it was roughly the same price uh until you get into the three point hitches and it was a series two steiger uh was the other possibility so you know it, it's not not that i didn't want to get it it's just i couldn't get it so let's go ahead and yes get out of here get deleted Did that delete it at all? Probably not. That did, though. Ah, oh, man. That feels pretty good. I think... This thing also has... Does it have a... Yes, it does. The ability to create fields, so that'll be fairly handy and there's no speed limit on it so we'll keep that in mind I don't think that does that when it's okay no it oh it just it just mulches the ground okay I've never I think I've used the the prion one not not this one before so I don't know why I was able to get the other one but it looks like we'll have to make a little bit of a mess here I'm not too awful worried about it I can always paint it over later Oh, guys, this is so much better than than what I was doing before. You got, you have no idea. Honestly, the, the reason it took so long to do this cut was missing uh, just all of these trees. Now, again, the goal isn't to delete every tree. It's just to delete a lot of them. Oh, that was... That was what we were looking for. That's the that's the stuff right there. I'm actually just kind of driving this thing around and enjoying it. It it sounds really really good. The sound design is quite good on this. So we'll we'll take that. We all know how much I like my noises. So I think with this absolute game changer, we're gonna be able to do some stuff. And I think what we'll do uh, first up is get. Pilot an equally bigger tractor as well. Uh, that way he's not stuck, you know, stuck running around in a stair or something like that. Uh, and it would also be a help with other jobs. So probably be gunning for that at some point, as well as a few other things. So you know, we we need to start thinking about building out the farmstead. It is mid-July and the camper is cold in the cold and I'm not a fan. I do believe that is all the trees I want to delete right now. Got rid of quite a few and that opens up that field just a ridiculous amount. Is there any rally the homestead that we need to get rid of? Not really. Watch out deers. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I think that is a pretty good place to leave it. We didn't get too awful much done today. And I don't think there's anything else I need to do. So we'll pick it up in the next one where we're probably going to do just have a ton of harvesting to do. I'm just going to be completely honest with you, there is going to be a lot of harvesting. And we will get it all done and see where we end up with money and hopefully buy some some features for our uh, new rig here. They're going to help with the production of crops is what I'm hoping. So I do love this. I'm about it. Big N14. Just she she's just just big. I like it. It's utilitarian. It is... <laughs> it is the 90s. So, that is where we're going to leave it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching today. Hopefully you did enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next one.
Bye for now.